Hey guys, Frost here. Welcome back. With the release of the Burning Crusade pre-patch, a lot of add-ons are not working anymore. Add-on developers struggle with uh, keeping up with the times and updating all of the add-ons. Our simple UI from the channel got destroyed. However, luckily we managed to find most of the add-ons working and some of them even working better than before. Like Lord TUI, very special thanks to all those add-on developers who updated them. I managed to make another pack and uh, I'm going to show you how to update your old add-ons. Uh, all of them if you still want to use this pack or for new viewers how to set it up from scratch we're going to have timestamps in the description for each and every add-on i'm going to show you how to download them how to change the fonts how to do everything to make it uh, just exactly as i use it so without further ado let's start this is the download link for uh, the add-on pack you go here on the code section and you go download zip as soon as you download zip, you should have something like this, simple UI v3 main. You do extract here. Uh, you need a program like WinRAR or now Windows has a, an unzipping file incorporated. Once you unzip it, you open it and apparently you have to unzip it again for some reason. And here you should have two folders. There's a font folder which is going to change all your fonts. If you don't want to change your fonts, if you have your fonts of your own, just leave this aside. But if you want the fonts that I'm using in the game, copy this one. You copy it from here and you put it into the classic folder, just exactly where the launcher is, where everything is. Just outside here, next to the logs file, next to the interface, next to the WTF, and you do a paste. Now you should have all the fonts modified for the game. Do a refresh and then go to the second, um, Older, simple UI v3, go inside, copy all the add-ons from inside and paste them into the interface add-ons folder. Paste. Now you should be able to have all of the add-ons that will show the, them to you in a second. There you go. Let go in, you do a refresh and then you start your World of Warcraft game. As soon as I find it, there we go. Uh, Sorry for the sound, I think the sound will be a bit too strong. You go to the add-ons, you might get an uh, error, um, load of out of date add-on, you press load of out of date add-on and then you enter game. I'm going to turn the volume a bit down as soon as we get in. So this is how it looks right now, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, very soon system sound and we're gonna lower the master volume to 50 sound volume and and there we go okay so first add-on which is the core of this uh, add-on pack it's lorty ui which is uh, the add-on that makes everything dark you see the unit frames uh, you see the spells you see the character sheet panel, the items, even the tooltips themselves makes everything look smooth and clear. Uh, this add-on here is from Quartz. I think we're going to remove that soon. Now, once you get in, the, in, the first thing you want to do, as a lot of people ask me, is to modify your UI scale. So you go to Escape, System, Graphics, Advanced, Escape, System, Advanced. And you modify your UI scale to the desired... Uh, if you like it like this big, well, keep it like this. You have a big screen or something. I usually like to modify it. Do a reload. Mm, that's weird. It didn't modify. Uh, system, Advanced. Okay, you have to actually click on the check mark. I think this is the, the one that I like. I could make it even smaller a bit. Let's go with this. Apply. Maybe a bit bigger. <laughs> okay, apply. Okay. We need to see what's going on actually here. Uh, then we do return to game. This is the add-on called E-Align. You just have to type a line in game. Slash align. La line. There we go. And now you go to your target frames and you move them wherever you choose to like or if you can you can leave them there but what you do you right click on them you do unlock 
And then you go to move frame and unlock. I like to keep my buffs on top here as well. And then you can move them wherever you want. I like to keep them down here. With this align add-on, what you can do is you can count the squares. For example, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from the middle bar. I'm going to put it exactly on the corner of the middle bar. There it is, really beautiful. And then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this way will ensure, well, I lost the count. Well, it's not easy, you know. One, two, three, four, with four, eight. Now they should be perfectly aligned and I can lock them up. Move frame, lock frame, right click on the right one too, lock frame and voila, there we have it. We locked it up. Now we type align again and we have our frames moved up. The next add-on I want to talk about, it's Leatrix Plus. It's one of the biggest add-ons in this pack. It has a lot of options and uh, let's get into this. In terms of automation, automate quests, automate gossip, I'm not using anything here. You have repair automatically if you've, you're the kind of guy that re forgets how to repair. Sell junk automatically. I'm doing this manually on my... Uh, you have here to block duel, duels, party invites, friends requests. Invite from Whispers to make a setup, set a keyword like invite and they will automatically get the invite. However, here is where we're going to work a bit. Uh, first thing I like to do here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but you see the chat has some buttons on the side, which we probably never use. So first thing I do, we hide chat buttons. Um, Use class color in chat. I like that one. Whenever someone is looking for a group, I want to see what class they are. Increase chat history. I like that in case I scroll back. And you can use whatever you want from here. Once you do a setup, you do a reload. However, we're going to move to the next one. Hide error messages. I like this one. Resize mail text, quest text, if you want, if you don't see. And moving on, interface. Uh, what I like to do here is uh, I like to enhance dress up, enhance quest log. Like right now, if you look at the quest log, it's like this. Or if you look at the professions, they're like this. Classic, you know. Enhance professions, enhance trainers. And here on the side, you have uh, other things like uh, show player chain. This is what we'll do. We'll put an epic dragon at your Okay, frames, hide griffins. I like to hide the griffins from Lord PUI from the side. Um, you can hide the stance bar if you have macros. Last icon portraits um, is this one, but this one we have another add-on. I'll show you how to disable it if you want to use a classic uh, 3D model. Manage buffs, manage frames. I think for now we have uh, enough. And under system, we have here a couple of things that will make the game look better. Disable screen glow. I like to disable that one sometimes. You see, it gets a bit darker. Disable screen effects. Uh, max camera zoom. That will make you see your character from way further than it is right now. Uh, faster auto loot is pretty nice. So disable loot warnings. I use this one as well, but you want to have to be careful when you loot, bind and pick up items. Um, faster uh, cinematic skip, dismount automatically, sure. Show vendor price, uh, but th this will have from uh, Ox add-on. Easy item destroy. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this, but yes. And now we can do a reload and see how it looks. You see, already it looks modified. We have the player chain here. We have um, the chat. We're going to unlock it. Oh, I cannot move it. Okay, we're going to do a reload later. We're going to resize it. That's it. Moving to the next add-on, which is part of the... Like I said, there are way more options on this one. The next add-on is the minimap, which is sexy map. Right now it looks different. 
but I like to make it in tune with the game. So you right click on it and the options will open. You open the first option of the minimap and you look for a preset. The preset, so right click on the map, you go to default presets and I like to use simple square. Simple square looks like this, but now we have to put a black border to be in tune with the Lord UI uh, settings. So you go to borders, uh, you click on background and edge, and then you choose a color. Okay, border color, and there we go. Unfortunately here I cannot see quite well. But it does look uh, way better. However, uh, oh, there we go. We can see here. Now we can increase the size of the minimap if we want or the border edge. The background edge. Tiled background. Border texture. Buttons. Um, uh, scale. Let me check the scale. There we go, the scale of the, I like like 1.03. I'll have to move it then, so I can see it better, see? If you want, you can go all the way like this. <laughs> but 1.2 seems to be okay in my book. There are many other options you can uh, have here. And um, there we go. Show north tag if you want to show it. If not, you can disable it. Um, clock if you don't like it, you can uh, move it and change the fonts. Coordinates are right here. I don't think I like the clock there, but let's just leave it like this. You can set it however you like. And this is how the minimap looks. Maybe I'll make it a bit smaller, I would think. Now we're going to move to the next one, which is Bagnon. The bag add-on and we're going to go here to settings and we're going to do the same thing um, frame settings first and foremost i want to make it dark as well so border color all the way black uh, background color all the way black color settings um, this is something else this is for items um, Let's go back to frame settings because it's still not dark. Now here I like to hide my back key. You click on this one and you hide the back key and then I hide these ones. Okay. However, my, my colors are not changing for some reason. Let me check under Bagnon, automatic display, frame settings. Okay. Uh -huh, we have to put it all the way up. There we go. And now you see it's nice and uh, dark. And we go to the border as well. And oh yeah, perfect. And there we have it. Now you can work with the item scale and with the spacing here. Now, uh, if you like to keep, I don't like having an orange uh, frame on my items. So we're going to remove color by quality. Actually color by quality we're going to leave it because we can see which one is blue, which one is green. Flash new items, I like it. Color quest items, color unusable items. So I, I don't want to keep that. I want those to be gray. Color quest items, maybe I'll keep it. And then you have more settings, uh, like how many, like scale, you know, if you want. I like to keep my scale around uh, here at 100%. Opacity, if you want to make it like less transparent. Uh, spacing, you want to make it more like this. I'm just going to keep the spacing to one and maybe increase the scale. There we have it. And if you want to modify it, in, this is uh, based on how many items you have. You can uh, make it square, so you have it. And this is it. I think we have enough with Bagnon. There's one thing we have here. It's um, Trinket Menu. 
Okay, we're gonna drag the trinket menu somewhere else. We're gonna scale. And see the menu. Um, show key bindings. I don't want the minimap button. Cooldown numbers I think we should have already from other add-on. Show tooltips at mouse. I want to have my tooltips at the mouse whenever I use it. Uh, tiny tooltips if you want to see them smaller just by the name, but I'm going to keep the big ones. Show key bindings. Um, and I think the scale will be smaller on me. 0 0.7, right? And we're going to drag it, whatever you really want. And we're going to lock window. And now Trinket menu works as well. Pretty nice. Moving on from Trinket menu, we're going to move to another add-on, which is Quartz, the cast bar. Escape, um, interface, add-ons, and then we go to Quartz. Uh... Toggle. Okay. We need to target ourselves for this. One second. Interface. Quartz. <sighs> this is like different because you have to work a lot of it with it. Uh, the way you test it, I test it with the... Uh... Okay, first and foremost, we need to, to move it. So then we're going to type a line again, slash line. Want to have this uh, somewhere in the middle. I like to keep it. So the length of the... Okay. It's four and a half and four and a half squares, both sides. I'm going to keep it around here. Good. Uh, focus, pet, and this is, uh, I think, the target of target. Let me check again. Okay, let's lock it. Slash align. Beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. We have a nice cash bar so we can interrupt people. However, I don't like those buffs, and I think those buffs are from Quartz as well. Um, quartz. It's... oh my god. Buff. Enable? Okay, we disable the buffs. Beautiful. Now you can work with the Quartz cast bar. Um, to change its length, its scale, its... its... everything. The names... It's up to you to make it however you please. And here we have it. Seems a bit off. No, it's fine. Perfect. Now we can go to show you the auction house add-on. Ox would be the next one. I need to work a bit on the minimap. I don't really like it. It feels much better, much smoother. Um, I don't really like the settings, um, the way the game looks. And something is missing here um, from my UI, the class color. Let me see if I can find the option in Leatrix Plus. Uh, should be under class colored frames. Beautiful. On Leatrix Plus. Nice. Now whenever we have a class, we can see that class color, which you kind of like that, to be honest. As well, if you don't like having here... Uh, the icons, escape, log out. The auction house add-on, which is a bit scuffed right now. If there's going to be an update, we're going to check it out. This is Ox, um, making it very easy to post items. However, in terms of scanning, it's kind of slow right now. I think there's some commands, which is slash Ox. Uh, you want to do ignore owner. And um, I 
that's it. And then you go like this and post it. It is a bit scuffed right now. Used to work way easier. It takes a while to scan the auction house, the items. But uh, I really like this add-on and I use it. Um, you can do such aux uh, scale 1.2. Oh, there we go. It's easy. Even to scale it. And it's in team, in team, it's in team with... Um, here is the hours duration you want to post. I want to post for 12 hours, for example. This one. A stack of one. And post. Post. Works well, quite okay, I guess. For now. Search. You can scan the auction house here. You can have on your tooltip, if you do slash aux tooltip, you're going to see a lot of options to set the price, value, and so on. Now, one thing that I modified to Lord DUI, as you can see, the one that you have, uh, macros now have text on them. You can see which one, which spell you have a macro on it. Uh, one thing that is bothering me is that we cannot move the chat to the edges. So we go back to chat options, use easy resizing, unclamp chat frame. Let's see if uh, now it works. Oh yeah, perfectly. Now we can have it all the way if you want to the edge. I love it. And there we go, guys. It took us 20 minutes to set up a new UI. Maybe I'm going to work a bit. I'm going to resize it in scale. But look how clean and simple it looks. I think I forgot some add-ons to talk about. And the add-ons that I forgot to talk about are the following. Interface, add-ons, Nug Running. Nug Running, it's an add-on that... Um, For example, this add-on tracks your cooldown and your spells in term with bars, you know. You can uh, modify it from uh, interface, options, add-ons, and you have general uh, settings if you want to them. If you want to change the way they look, like Banto Bar, if you want to change their uh, textures. Let's see, Blizzard characters. Oh, there we go. Now you can change the length and uh, you can uh, change the font somewhere here. There we go, font. We're going to go with a different different font and I think we're going to take Fritz Quadratra. Whatever. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Already looks better. Mm, kind of don't like that font. But you get the point, right? You have a lot of of settings here we're gonna spend a lot of uh you can modify the spell list that you don't want to have here or you want to modify them for example on ignite on mage um, if you don't want to see all the um, ignites in one uh, open sans bold huh and here we're gonna put let's just use the heal bot Aluminium, Blizzard. Blizzard. Okay, Nug Running. General. Hey. I can unlock it now. Oh! Okay. Is there anything we didn't talk about? I'm gonna do a reload here. And add-ons. We talked about Ox, uh, Bagnon with Bag Brother. This goes the same for the bank, uh, Bagnon and uh, Bag Brother. Class Porter is final. We're going to disable that one because we're going to keep our click links. If you want to click a link, item rack. Okay, item rack. It works like trinket menu, but you have it on the items here. If you want to change an item quickly, quick swap. You can do it like this. What's on your mind? Uh, the same thing you have to do that you did for the bag for the bank. Watch your back. And what else is here? Escape, interface, add-ons, escape, add-ons. Leatrix Plus, Leatrix Maps, okay. Omni CC, which is the cooldown add-on. 
and that's about it. I think we didn't talk about the uh, Leatrix map, but um, you can work it out. You can rescale it to make it bigger. I like it this way. And uh, I think that's about it, guys. We went 25 minutes with this add-on guide. Hopefully you you like it. I'm gonna have to rescale the bar, but it looks pretty nice here on Nug running. Okay, what else can we do? Um, yep. I think I'm gonna rescale my UI. And that's it, guys. I think there are a couple of commands that we didn't add up. Uh, let's try to see if we can um, have here. So console FFX glow zero. Let's try this one. Okay. Weather density. I like zero. Death effect. I like zero. You know, when you die and you run. And... That's it. Let's do a reload, see if it looks different now. There's some new shadows from the game, from the pre-patch. It looks a bit different, but I'm gonna get used to it. I think we need to work a bit on uh, our gamma here. But that's it, guys. It's a long video, I know, but if you want a good add-on pack, you have to put a bit of time into it. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay frosty.